Hey there, fellow guitar people. If you're a beginner, strumming with your thumb can be a great way to get started. You see, you don't have to worry about the pick flying out of your hand, and you can concentrate on getting the chords right in your left hand. But is strumming with your thumb only for beginners? If you answered no, you'd be right. In reality, this is a powerful little pick, and it can be a part of a more elaborate fingerstyle strumming, something that I use all the time. I'm going to show you the proper technique for starting out with using your thumb, and then I'll show you two techniques that you can use to up the game a little bit and have even more fun. Let's do this! I'm going to start with the simplest version of the thumb strum. I'll use the D chord in my left hand, and I'm going to strum down with my right hand the fleshy part of the thumb. Now with the D chord, I'm strumming pretty much from the fourth string up. It's okay if you hit the fifth string. Sixth string is not part of the chord. So going down is pretty easy. You'll notice, by the way, I'm not going too far because even that little distance there means you have to come all the way back up. So you want to go just a little past the first string and then back up. Now, most of the action there is from my elbow. I'm not doing much with my hand other than moving my thumb down a little bit. Now, for the up strum, we're going to also brush on the upper part of the thumb with the flesh. So it's down, up. So a good way to practice this is just to make a chord. In this case, I've got a D chord and just Try to do it nice and even. I'm moving my thumb a little bit, but most of the action's in my elbow. <laughs> the trick here is to brush against the strings and not dig in too tight. If you do that, each of the individual notes sounds. And that's okay, that's an arpeggio if you want that. But for the strumming, you want it to brush against the strings. And take some practice. This is a particularly good strum if I don't want to play too loud. So here's a basic strum using that technique. Down, down, up, down, up. Now for this next technique, we're going to up the game a little bit and we're going to create a little more interesting strum. You're going to brush down with the flesh just like you just did. I'm still using a D chord. But on the way up, you're going to use the outside of your thumb, the nail, to create a little different sound. It's crisper, cleaner. By the way, this technique is also part of a more complex drum that uses both the thumb and the fingers, which I've created a separate video if you want to get more into using your whole hand for strumming. So, we're going to go down with the flesh and up with the nail. Now, to do that, you're going to twist your hand a bit. You see, on the way down, I twist this way. On the way up, it twists out. I'm closing my fingers and my thumb a little bit. Now, with that same strum before, it sounds like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now for technique number three, we're going to add bass notes. And this is a cool way to kind of make the strum more interesting, but still not terribly difficult. You see, it's fairly easy to find the bass note with your thumb more so than with a pick. But the key there is, you need to know what the bass note of the chord is. And this is something that it's important to learn, and by practicing with your thumb, you'll get the hang of it. After a while, it'll be second nature. I'll go through three common chords and show you the bass note. We'll start with a G chord, and the bass note's a sixth string a C chord, and the bass notes on the fifth string, and then a D chord, and the bass notes on the fourth string. So with the bass notes, you'd hit the bass note, and then strum. Bass note, strum. And if you wanted to make it a little more fancy, add some bass walks in between. So 
if you'd like to learn more about strumming with your thumb and your fingers, I'll link to a video at the end that I think you really like. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell so you won't miss a thing. And I'd love to know what you're thinking. How did you like this video? Did I cover what you were hoping I would? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see me make a video out of. I hope to see you again in the video soon and in the comments below. Bye for now.